Okay, we're part back for part two here. Part two, um, as I say, um, I wouldn't have any qualms about running Linux on, um, oh, for a long time I was re using, actually I will tell you, the first Linux machine I used, which I would still use today as a production machine, was a 486 with, uh, used 486 I bought with 16 megabytes of RAM and, um, maybe a 500 megabyte hard disk. Um, I think it was a 486.33. It had, it was a used CAD workstation, which I bought just for the purpose of putting Linux up in 1993, I guess, uh, or 94, one or the other. And, um, and I used it for quite a number of years, and it was a good production box. So uh, don't let people force you into you know, don't let people convince you you can't put Linux on small machines. If you can't, you're using the wrong Linux. Um, and if you can't get Linux up on it, then go to FreeBSD or NetBSD or something else, because um, um, it's important to put things on small machines. Okay, the next thing I wanted to talk about is um, you use FDisk, like we did over here, to either look at your um, hard disk, or to create new partitions on your hard drive, or delete them if you want, but to repartition your hard drive. The next thing you need to do is you need to create a, um, um, you need to format your hard drive. The various formats that you can have, Linux has dozens of formats that work with it. Um, EXT2, written by, I think, Remy Card, we used for years and years and years, um, had some flaws. We went to EXT3, EXT4 is what we're using now for the most part. Um, riser file system is another file system that's quite popular. I used to use riser file system a lot, but I, I do not know of its future because Hans Riser, who wrote the riser file system, um, murdered his wife one night and was sentenced to life in prison. So um, some of his associates are trying to keep the riser file system alive, but I'm still not sure of its future. Um, they're not doing a bad job. It may have a future. Um, I think there's an XFS. There, there's a lot of file systems around. And then there's some Windows-like file systems, MS-DOS, VFAT, NTFS. Yes, you can make a, you can format an NTFS uh, file system and create a Windows file system without using any Windows tools, just using Linux tools. Um, by using mkfs.ntfs, I think it is. Um, however, the first file systems I named here, along with some others, are what I call Linux-like file systems. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this prelim these preliminaries, is some of the stuff we do in Chapter um, 4, you cannot really do very well with a Windows or DOS-like file system. You can use Windows and DOS-like file systems with Linux, but you lose some of its features, as we'll talk about later on. Um, and the con commands for, um, whoops, C commands for, um, I'm going all over the place here trying to find my workspace. But the commands for formatting a file system are usually called uh, make file system dot. And then there's all sorts of options. And uh, depending on which ones you have installed on your machine, to make a ext2 file system, it's mkfs.ext2, to make an, an ext4 file system, it's this, to make an ntfs file system, it would be um, this, slash dev, slash um, sdb5, and I do not want to hit the carriage return here, so um, I'm going to go back and I'll wipe out that command. 
Um, but that would make um, that would format my hard drive as an NTFS file system. Um, okay. Brief over. Uh, uh, so that's a brief overview. There's also some advanced file system types. There's one called LVM. LVM is for pooling a lot of partitions together into one big logical hard drive. Uh, it, I think it's called, uh, LVM stands for Logical Volume Manager. We'll talk about that later. And MD, MD is the tool that Linux uses for um, um, building rated hard drives or software rated hard drives. Um, you can also just buy hardware RAID. I actually recommend doing that. But um, another way to build uh, rated hard drives is um, to do it through software, which is available in either Windows or Linux or other OSs. And the commands in Linux to do that are MD. OK, um, that's sort of preliminaries for what we're going to talk about in chapter um, um, in chapter um, four. I, I guess the other thing, though, that I will say before ending this part of the video is that um, the big thing about Linux file systems is Linux has a security system and um, or Unix. Uh, yeah, Linux and Unix use the same security system, basically the same. And any security system has to be hardwired into the file system, or at least most of them are. Um, and that's what makes them work the best, makes them work the fastest. And that's why when we talk about the Linux security system, it really has to be done on a Linux-style hard drive or a Unix-style hard drive. It becomes kind of uh, crippled and broken if you're you trying to use Linux security on a, uh, an NTFS drive or an MS-DOS drive. Yes, you can use those drives with Linux, but the security system um, uh, becomes a little bit lame. Whereas if you're using an NTFS uh, EXT4 drive, the security system, you get the full features of the Linux operating system for security. And um, and so, the re you know, a lot of the chapter that 4 will have to do with the security system. And that means that, for the most part, that we're running on a um, EXT Two, three, four, riser FS, XFS, some sort of some sort of Unix-like file system. Um, with that, I'm going to close this part of the video, and then we'll go on to the next video. We'll actually start uh, by discussing Chapter Four. Thank you. Bye bye.